Hi guys, it's a happy day and welcome back to my vlog. Actually, I woke up early this morning and I was so shocked, literally shocked, because you look at what happened. There was a heavy downpour last night and it destroyed our makeshift roofings right here over the pond. And this is filled with catfish. And because of the heavy rain, our tank of the catfish had been filled up with water that all these catfish were able to traverse the tank of our Japanese koi. And it was a disaster, literal, because all these catfish were able to consume the baby koi in the adjacent pond. And this is my lesson. So for today's video, we're gonna plant this one along the dikes because I am really very excited to see some palm trees along the dikes of our fish pond. And of course, in planting this one, we should you know, do the timing because it's rainy season now. It's been three days that we experienced this you know, heavy rains and it's also very timely that we can transfer the seedlings of this palm tree. You see this one? And I told you in my previous videos that this palm tree is a big help to our animals, especially to the birds. Because aside from the shades that they can provide, they can also be utilized as you know, food for the baby birds, African and all these birds that we have here in the house. So I am really thinking about massively producing this one. And come on, let's go there and we will make some updates. This is the downside if you are taking care of your pets. Even during the rain, we have to be forced to come out and feed all our animals. And this is quite tiresome. But if you will think about their welfare, you will not think about this as a tiresome work because you enjoy doing it. And this is life. As long as you enjoy doing it and it will not hurt anybody, you will not, of course, take advantage of anybody, then you are doing the right thing. You will see that we have stockpiles here. You see, these are peeling materials that were just given for free. I have friends who have project of, you know, excavating drainage system and their waste are actually given to me for free. And I'm so happy about this. I believe in the saying that when it rains, it pours. So these are blessings, you know, that if you're gonna buy this one, this will cost us around thousands of pesos. But these are given for free. And I thank God for these blessings. Now we will plant these palm tree seedlings along the dikes. Come on, let's go. By the way, I have these bamboos here. I wanted to plant bamboo because this place is actually near to the canal so that we can make this more you know strong and you know that we have just filled this with soil this was actually not like this before but we made our effort to expand this area the solid ground so that we can also utilize this Wow, we have practically planted 50 seedlings and I dream that someday somehow this palm tree will grow and will make this dike more stronger. And I have another good news during this rainy days. We are aiming to put some nipahat right there and come on, let's go and 
let's make some updates. Come on, let's go over there. So you will see this ramp. This is our bridge going to our nipa hut. Over there, we'll put some nipa hut so that we can fish our, you know, tilapia, the catfish, and the snakehead. We can fish them out, and we will also provide a space where we can grill our catch. Oh, that's exciting! I'm so excited about this, and I know that some of you can emphasize the excitement that I have felt right now because as what I have said you know we have started from scratch these are barren areas for 30 40 years and we were able to develop it again and this becomes now productive I just hope that our fest right here will grow and I'm aiming that along the side of this bridge I'm aiming that we can also raise the goldfish in Japanese koi because I already have made an experiment about this. I put some goldfish inside the net to test the waters. And the goldfish now are already big. They have survived, although few of them died, but majority of them were able to survive. So this gives us the impression now that the water quality is really best for goldfish as well, and even the Japanese koi. So the plan is to put some nipa hut and then, of course, we will enjoy fishing our catfish. Well, this is my biggest challenge in this farm. How to make the boat for the safety of our animals in times of flood. I'm really doing my best to finish this boathouse before this year ends because I'm also very excited to invite people here and share something very um, significant about farming, farming methods, best practices that you can also adopt. This month or maybe next month, I hope we can complete this boat and this will look like the Ark of Noah. I'm so excited about this and you will see that the water is actually now deep because we are from time to time getting all the mods and putting that along the side so that we can build a big and deep mud pond. I just discovered that our ducks have, you know, two hens, two mana ducks, laid eggs here. I tried to train these ducks, but they really have this animal instinct. I mean, instinct in the wild, that they prefer to hide and lay eggs in the bushes. So I don't know how to train them. Maybe we can put them in inside a cage or inside the pen. But since it's already been laid, I would like to just, you know, cover this with this uh, GI sheets, hoping that this will work. As I look inside, it's not wet, actually. It's still dry. But of course, if this rain will not stop, this will be flooded. That will certainly wash out the, the eggs. I just hope that this rain will stop. But then, I decided to just cover it for the meantime and we will observe. If this rain will not stop, then we will get all the eggs and rescue all these eggs and put them inside the, the coop. Well, I hope guys you enjoy this video and I enjoy doing my, my stuff, especially during the morning because it's not hot. In our country, the Philippines, especially during noontime, it's really very hot. The temperature is that warm that I cannot, you know, survive outside. But 
since it's raining, I enjoy the temperature, the climate, and I hope that you will continue to like and share our videos. And we're almost to 1.5 million subscribers. And I'm so happy about this. And I hope that we can have more entertaining videos in the future as we develop this farm. See you in my next video, all here at Dexter's World.